Coronavirus, coronavirus, it's getting real. <laughs> Feeding time. Feed me more. Whew. The fuck kind of open was that? Whew. Yo, it's the big guy Ryback here with feeding time. Today, guys, today is my cheat meal. I got my loser food tray initiated. Guys, we're going big today. We're going, we're going double big. You know, I'm a vegetarian here for the last three months. I've had a steak uh, once each of the last two weeks, just to incorporate a small amount of grass fed steak in uh, for a little heme iron. But I said, you know what, today we're going to go ahead. Fuck it. Coronavirus, 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 shit's getting real. That was a horrible, horrible, horrible display. <laughs> of what's her fucking name? I don't even know who she is. Cardi? Cardi B? I'm so clueless to so many things, but I did see the video. My boy DJ Dell's a sneaker addict. Did a nice little edit that I used on Instagram. Today, guys, today we are doing the double, the new double Big Mac. I'm eating meat today. I also got some McDonald's french fries. Ah! Ah! I caught it. <laughs> I never am used to amaze myself. Shit, almost spilled. Okay, I can't, this is too much to handle now. All right, I'm getting some of these fries out of the way. Mmm, they're still... Still warm. I'm parked side of the McDonald's. I just got done with a massive workout. Fucking jacked, as you sure you can tell. And uh, I'm looking at a nice view of uh, got a Vietnamese cuisine in the Taco Bell drive-thru. I got a dental office, a jiu-jitsu place, a little gaming bar, all that shut down. Not the Taco Bell. A little mamacito walking by. Have a good day. Buenas noches, senorita. El hombre grande. Muy bonito. I'm kidding, guys. She was okay looking. Very lovely lady. Everybody's beautiful in their own way. Even me. All right, we're going in. This is for the, the feeding time review of the double Big Mac at McDonald's. I know I'm probably a lot of, you know, vegetarians are about right now. It's one meal, guys. I'm not, you know, balanced and I don't. Here we go. Oh, no. Mm. This is fucking. They put enough fucking sauce on this? Look at that. This food tray was a hell of an investment. Pickles, lettuce, cheese, meat, and then the Big Mac sauce. Mm. Put a tweet out the other day. This is the one time in life where guys, it's perfectly socially acceptable to take your take a chick to McDonald's right now for a date. You can pick her up if you guys have been quarantining together, or you could park side by side, open the windows, you guys have a conversation, eat a little McDonald's. 
nobody could say shit. Guys, take advantage of this time. Netflix and chill. Guys, so many opportunities right now here in 2020. You got to find the positives and the negatives. So many positives. Days are cheaper. You don't have to take all the nice fine dining restaurants that, that chicks like to go to, guys. They're fucking shut down. You know what's not? McDonald's. <laughs> A lot of vegetarians or vegans, if they have meat, they get sick. I don't. I realize in my Neanderthal days, probably to help save my family and tribe, I killed and sacrificed animals for the family, but I was always did it in a loving, non-harmful, very as much of a loving way as possible, I feel, for my love for animals. But that was out of necessity for survival. And it wasn't an everyday thing. But what we did do is we, we ate a lot of nuts and berries. We, did, we, 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 we grazed. And then when we couldn't find anything, and unfortunately, and that's where meat was not eaten all the time. It was a, a luxury and a treat. And I'm making all of this up, guys. We don't need this. But I am eating it right now. Mmm. Okay, that's done. Knock out some videos today. Got a 24 hour fast coming up. I think I'm gonna do a whining with the ride back tonight. I haven't done one of those in a bit. So I'll probably do a bottle of red wine and I'll be done. That'll start my fast. Mm. Like people driving around me while I'm feeding time, while I'm feeding myself more. Shit. Okay, more information. Throw a curveball in here with you guys. I got a spicy McChicken too. Fuck it. These are this whole meal was under this was nine under ten dollars. Fries, double Big Mac, and a spicy McChicken. Man, I tell you what really chaps my ass too, guys. There's so much fucking trash all on the ground out here. You know what? Dude, these managers of these fucking places. the area clean very simple thing because it, it reflects the area all the businesses fucking hell I don't I just don't I don't get it and people that fucking litter man fuck you if you litter I'll never understand same people the people that go to the bathrooms and leave shit all over the place fuck you 
I just, man, be better. Who, if your parents were dumb shit and you got treated like shit when a kid, fuck you still for fucking making excuses and being shitty human beings later on. It pisses me off, guys. There's no need for it. Now we're in a time we need everyone to kind of work together and, you know, try to slow this shit down a little bit. Those kids out at the spring break, just, you know, it's hard not to get mad at that stuff. Saying they don't care if they get coronavirus. I tell you what, and I say this kindly. You put me in a room with every single one of those motherfuckers, and that attitude comes out. <laughs> Makes me angry. There's no need for it, you know? And I saw Tyrus had a video out where a lot of those kids that were on spring break in Florida, and fuck that Florida governor. Florida governor, fuck you, man, for not shutting down your beaches when everybody else. People, man, got to get on the same page. I got news for you, fucking United States. Every other state didn't get it, but New York and California fucking keep going through the roof. Florida goes through the roof. Ain't nobody fucking, life ain't going back to normal still. So, it's just frustrating. These motherfuckers, those motherfuckers travel, and it's just, uh, I don't know. It's like, I feel like everyone has to get on the same page to make this as short as possible. For And short as possible, I don't give a, for, for the fucking people that are out of work, man. I haven't been affected really by this too much, outside of the, some going out and stuff. Um, but as far as like, there's people I have friends that are unemployed casinos man fucking called in the armory to fucking haul off all their money that don't sound like a 30 day thing to me that sounds like this might go, go considerably longer and it's because we're not getting on the same page not an easy thing to do though so but eventually, all will, all will be all right. It always is. Always. So. And if not, everyone's just going to fucking kill everyone, and we're going to make the same mistake as we've made throughout history and be dumb fucks. And then we'll all be in heaven. Like, oh, we're a bunch of dumb fucks. We killed each other again. Well, we made it a good amount of time this time before we fucking ruined it all again. Look throughout history. Humans are dumb as fuck. Killing from the beginning. I got news for you guys. It just is a fucking vicious cycle. Thought we maybe have fucking figured it out this time around, but who knows? I do think it's going to be all right, though. So, coronavirus, shit's getting real. It's going to be all right, though. Stay the fuck inside, wash your hands, wipe your asses, whatever you do with all that toilet paper. Just fucking really wipe that ass good, guys. And, uh, Grocery stores here in Vegas have started social distancing. I think three to five feet. I think three feet is the, the thing, but it'll be all right. As long as we can get groceries, gas. Have running water, power. Eventually, someone around this world, one of these fucking brilliant scientists have to figure out something. Otherwise, it's gonna be a long 18 months. But uh, hopefully not that long. Hopefully it's a couple the most. So anyways, guys, <clears throat> not a corona cough, food cough. Fuck you, Jeffrey, little bitch. All right, guys, for the double Big Mac review, uh, we're going to go ahead. That was, again, the, the non-vegetarian meal here. Um, very, very positive reviews here at Feeding Time. Five stars. Uh, and I don't condone anything of eating this fast food on a regular basis. Um, 
I eat salads and broccoli and, and, and some eggs during the week and my grass-fed whey protein powder and, and some, a little bit of Beyond Meat from the store and, uh, and black beans, organic black beans and pinto beans and um, a little bit of popcorn. A lot of very healthy foods all throughout the week. So don't let this little video for a cheat meal so I like to go eat this fucking every meal and be fucking jacked like Ryback. You won't. Guys, and I just did a massive workout today with extremely hard conditioning that I assure you not many of you probably do. So not that you can't do it. You just, it's, why would you? It's not, it, it's more of a wrestling thing so that I still keep doing so. Anyways, guys, five stars, two thumbs up. That spicy chicken, that, that was, I'm giving that five stars, two thumbs up. The fries, five stars, two thumbs up because they were actually warm. They were, they were much better than that Mc, uh, McShit, McRib thing with the fries that were cold that one time. So, all right, we got a family pulling up. I'm going to social distance. I'm a little uncomfortable with the distance here, even with the windows up. We're going to get out of here, guys. Keep everything going. Keep everything safe. All right, get hungry. Stay hungry. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms, click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.